I'm not sure there'll be that much going on for solos and probably the same for groups as well because um, like I've said before um, I've never ever recommended uh, groups uh, to Fred Olsen before. Um, activities for solos, I think there'll be exactly the same activities as for everyone um, but I think it'd be more of a focus on making them feel included and not feel like being aware that they're a solo passenger. Right, I'm on the way to the solo meeting to find out what's on offer for solo travellers. Uh, hopefully I will see something like uh, meetups in bars, maybe going for dinner together and, so, and different activities for solo travellers. It's quite clear that Fred Olsen really value their solo travellers. Not only have they got a great range of um, options for accommodation, they've also got a, a full list of activities as well. So every day they will have a meeting in the morning, whether that's uh, to go ashore or whether it's um, a day at sea, uh, and get people together to do a range of activities. We've got things like afternoon tea, where they'll reserve a table just for solo travellers, and they can all go and enjoy afternoon tea together. Uh, they've also got the dance house as well, um, so that's a, an integral part of um, sailing for quite a lot of solo travellers. Every evening we dance, uh, there's two sessions, two recording sessions, and we also dance from 7.30 till 8 for the live band. We never know from one cruise to another what sort of guests we're going to have, but we certainly get guests from all walks of life, all ages. I mean, for last night, for example, we had a young girl, probably 14, 15 years old, going up to um, far more elderly guests. And after two or three days, we're then socialising with them in many ways, not just over maybe lunch or we play Rummy Cub, we play Scrabble with them, sometimes we go out on trips with them, and then in the end you just become, we just become best friends to be honest. It was unexpected for me to see such inclusion for solo passengers. Um, of course, I have always thought Fred Elson being exceptionally good for solo passengers, from the accommodation options right down to the price that you actually pay, but they do go that step further and they really look after the solos on board. We've got a desk where groups can go to, so a dedicated de desk just for that group and they can also use the card room so they can book out the card room or other areas of the ship as well. And they've also got uh, exclusive benefits for the group so they can have onboard credit, um, free parking, uh, you know, there's different options for the groups to take. I know that um, Fred's are very good for groups but I didn't realise how good they are. I know that for specific travel agents they have um, designated meeting areas. I think it's a really good offering for groups and so they travellers.